When I was a kid, my fairy godmother asked me if I wanted a long penis or a long memory. I, I forget my response. <laughs> Hello, what's the crack? What's the story? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out some Stewart Francis. I've thrown this guy once, it was really, really good. This is Stewart Francis, best one-liners. Let's go. Thank you very much. My name is Stuart Francis, and don't worry, I haven't heard of you either. <laughs> I'm getting used to it. Um, in a world full of patronizing insincerity, it is so nice to be back in my beautiful hometown. <laughs> Edinburgh. <laughs> so many people are jumping on the Barack Obama bandwagon, which... Ah, uh, now I'm getting flashbacks. Now. He's one of them comedians that his jokes are so good sometimes, yeah. He takes you like two, three seconds. The last one took me like... The last one he just said there. It took me like three seconds to get. I'm like... That's what's gonna happen all the whole time now. I'm sorry. It's just it's that smart. I'm gonna have to think fast now. Fuck's sake. Sorry. So many people are jumping on the Barack Obama bandwagon, which, as an African American, <laughs> really offends me. No, uh, you're looking at a very proud Canadian who's. Very proud of the education system in Canada, I think. <laughs> I think it's the goodest of all 17 countries. <laughs> no, I was horrible in school. I failed math so many times I can't even count. <laughs> I was good at history. No. <laughs> no, I wasn't. So long ago. I preferred French over chemistry because the chemistry teacher and I just didn't have any, um... <laughs> rapport. <laughs> Sadly, as a Canadian, I don't speak French. Such is life. When I was a kid, my fairy godmother asked me if I wanted a long penis or a long memory. I, I forget my response. <laughs> like most Canadians, I like to go clubbing, but if there's no seals around... <laughs> I like to go dancing. Last night I went to a dance club that was full of white kids talking black. Got so annoying, I finally left. Besides, daylight come and me want to go home. <laughs> I quit my job at the helium gas factory. I refuse to be spoken to in that tone. <laughs> That's the thing, my friends. I'm, I'm a one-liner comedian. I'm, I'm not a storyteller. And uh, interesting how that all started. We all have bittersweet memories of our childhood. I recall one summer when the neighborhood parents were buying their children skateboards. It was the rage at the time. Except for my parents. They told me that we were too poor and that they couldn't afford to buy me a skateboard. But I remember one night I tippy-toed out of my bedroom, I got a piece of wood and a hammer, and I beat them to death. <laughs> Foster parents bought me five skateboards. <laughs> My sexual fantasy is to make love to Sigmund Freud's father. Mother! <laughs> Nobody wants to be alone. A recently divorced friend of mine is hopeful of once again finding romance. Beer bellied, completely bald. I don't like her chances. You gotta be careful. I was involved in a one-night stand that went horribly wrong. We've been married three years now. <laughs> they say opposites attract, but try explaining that to my short, ugly wife. <laughs> no, my wife is beautiful. My wife has an ass like J-Lo. No, Jello. And I'm not ashamed of my wife. If you don't believe me, go to the car and ask her. <laughs> ask 
ask her loud. She's in the boot. <laughs> Is my wife dissatisfied with my body? A tiny part of me says yes. <laughs> no, I'm not married. If I was married, would I be able to do this? Exactly. No, I've got a girlfriend. Uh, I've been going out with my girlfriend for sex. <laughs> you like the sex? No. I love to go to bookstores and say to the clerk, "Hello, I'm looking for a book titled 'How to Deal with Rejection Without Killing.'" <laughs> Do you have it? Irony. That's one thing I truly do respect about you people here in Scotland. <laughs> you get irony, and it's everywhere. Sharon Osbourne judges talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, irony. There's a paper in Scotland called The Sun. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear me. A lot of people accuse me of taking the audience for granted, and I like to address that before we get to the standing ovation. I, uh, <laughs> I knew you'd like that, Jeff. I hope you guys are doing okay. Money-wise, I'm set for life, <laughs> provided I die next Tuesday. <laughs> I'm trying to become at least the most famous person in my neighborhood. There's a guy in my neighborhood. He's in the Guinness Book of Records. He's had 43 concussions. He lives very close. In fact, just the stones throw away. But the point. <laughs> Some of you recognize that, whereas most of you are looking at me thinking, "Is this shit funny in Canada?" <laughs> no, no, it's not. That's why I'm here. I love you, Edinburgh. Here you are, the news. I feel like it's one of them ones that, in the beginning, I like. Okay, let me just relax. It's one of them ones that you have to be ready for one line. It's it's cool so quick. If you don't get, it, you just move on. Like so, there's some I think I did get most of it. There was some that if I didn't get, I didn't. Think too deep into it, because then I'm not gonna get the next one. Just relax. But yeah, this geezer, you have to be into one-liners to actually really understand them. Just really like it. I think it's very, very good. I've really enjoyed it. Is it Canadian? Is he actually Canadian, or is he just making a joke? Yeah, very good. Was that in Edinburgh? That's a Mac Michael McIntyre's comedy roadshow. So I'm guessing they used to bring a lot of people. Because I'm, I've, I must have reacted to someone else on this roadshow. Trying, I can't. Was it Gary Delaney? Probably, I don't know. But yeah, you guys just keep commenting down below. Let me know what you want to check out. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. Check out the Patreon, check out the membership, please. Thank you so much. I appreciate the love and the support. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.